good day, grade 8 students! For today's video, let's have a tour in Southeast Asia. So what are the countries in Southeast Asia? Very good! So the countries in the Southeast Asia are Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Singapore, Indonesia, Laos, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, and our country, Philippines. Our lesson is about the arts of Southeast Asia. Okay, so let's begin with this activity. Learning task 1. Choose the words from the box and write them in the appropriate column. Answer this activity in your paper. Let's check. Alright, so the elements of arts are color, shape, form, value, texture, space, and line. While the principles of design are balance, unity, variety, emphasis, movement, pattern, and proportion. And elements of arts are the building blocks of art. Elements of arts are the stylistic features that are included within an art piece. Principles of art represent how the artist uses the elements of art to create an effect and to help convey the artist's intent. Let us start with the country, Thailand. So the first country is Thailand. So their fabric design or fabric is called Thai silk. So Thailand have their Thai silk. So Thai silk is produced from the cocoons of the Thai silk worms. So here is a picture of the Thai silk worms. Next is the country of Cambodia. So Cambodia also have their silk. And it is called as the Cambodia Silk Weaving. Silk Weaving in Cambodia dates to as early as the 1st century since textiles were used for trading. Modern textiles have traces of motifs imitating clothing details on ancient stone sculptures. And there are two main types of Cambodian weaving. The Ika technique and an even twill. The Ika technique. Ika technique is to create patterns of weavers, tie, and dye portions of web yarn before weaving begins. Patterns are diverse and vary by region. Common motifs include stars and spots. Next is the uneven twill. An even twill, it yields single or two colored fabrics which are produced by weaving three threads so that the color of one thread dominates on one side of the fabric while the two others determine the color on the reverse side. So those are the two main types of Cambodian weaving. Next is the country Laos. So Laos also have their silk, which is called as the Sien. Sien is the Lao woman's ankle long skirt whose form is undeniable but whose patterns are unique to each skirt. Symbolist totem. So the Sien or the Lao woman's skirt uses symbolist totems. So they use crabs for resourceful nests, while they use snakes that symbolizes fertility, while butterflies for beauty and birds for success. Next country is Vietnam. So Vietnam also have their silk and it is called as the golden thread silks. They have some popular Vietnamese fabric ranges. And these are the number one, Shantung Tafeta, Benjamin Wheel, number two, and the last is the Ebony Satin. 
Now, let us go to the next country, which are the Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. In these three countries, they have these um, common batik. Batik is an Indonesian Malay word believed to be related to the Malay word titik, which means point, dot, or job. And it has two categories, the geometric motifs, and the preform design. So when we say geometric motifs, it uses different shapes. While preform designs, it doesn't have um, restrictions, so it is free. So you are free to design anything you want. But it has two types. First one is the hand painted, while the second one is the black printed. When we say hand painted, the artist uses the canting, a small copper container with one or more different size pipes. While black printed is done by welding together strips of metal to form a metal black. And that is an example of the batik dress. Next is from the country Brunei. Brunei's traditional textile is also called batik, but it is uniquely different from Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. They use this design called as the Simpur, or the national flower of Brunei, and the Sumboy Sumboy, or the picture plant. And batik in Brunei can be done in four different ways. The first one is the hand drawn. Two is using metal blocks, third is stream printing, and fourth is the digital printing. Let us now discuss lesson two arts and crafts. So let us start with the country Thailand. And Thailand and have their arts and crafts known as the flying lanterns. So flying lanterns are made out of rice paper with a bamboo frame which contain a fuel cell or small candle. And flying lanterns are used during the year and for festival. And one of the famous festivals wherein they use Flying Lantern is the Loy Kratong Festival. So this festival is held on the night of the 12th full moon, usually in November, with Chiang Mai believed to have the brightest and most spectacular celebrations. Okay, next is Cambodia. Cambodia's arts and crafts is called as the handicrafts. So handicrafts on that picture are part of their traditional culture and their livelihood as they produce textiles, baskets, jars, pottery, and other tools for their daily use. And many indigenous groups have established small enterprises and produced traditional products to generate supplementary income in order to support their, their livelihood. So that is their handicrafts. Next is the country Laos or Laos. So they have their arts and crafts known as the sap paper. On that picture is the sap paper. And that paper is made by hand in the wider region of Laos using the bark of a local sa or mulberry tree. And the sap paper was used for calligraphy, making festive deck temple decorations, umbrellas, fans, kites, <laughs> and even filter in the manufacture of lacquerware. And next is the country of Vietnam. So Vietnam 
Vietnam have their silk painting. Silk painting typically showcases the countryside, landscapes, pagodas, historical events, or scenes of daily life. So that is the arts and crafts of Vietnam or Vietnamese. Next is Indonesia. Indonesia have their wayang kulit. Okay, so that is the wayang kulit puppet. So it is a type of puppet shadow play performed around the Indo-Malayan archipelago, tracing its origin to India. It is derived from a Japanese Hindu Buddhist tradition where handcrafted leather puppets depict epic stories of gods in shadow play. And the puppets are moved behind a cotton or linen screen by a dalang. A dalang is the puppet master in a shadow puppet play. So that is the arts and crafts of Indonesia, the Wayang Kulit Puppet. Next is Malaysia. Malaysia have their wow kite as their arts and crafts. We're in Wow kite in Malay is a uniquely designed Malaysian kite called as wow. And now, kite flying has become a popular sport not just in Malaysia but also internationally. And last one is Brunei. Brunei have their songkok. Songkok, on that picture, came to be associated with Islam in Malaysia. While in Indonesia, Pesi is also associated with a nationally secular movement. And in Brunei, Men's headgears are categorized into three. So the first one is the dastar, which is a piece of cloth tied around the head. And that picture next is the songkok or kopya, a type of top made from velvet. And last one is the tangkolok or surban, which resembles a turban. Now, let us do the following activities. 